95% of the time, teaching an autonomous car what to do is pretty easy. Just teach it the rules. It's that extra 5% that's kind of tricky. Figuring out regional driver behavior, for example. That's why Mercedes is taking cars like this S-Class all around the world to teach autonomous cars of the future to predict the unexpected. Mercedes-Benz has modified this S-Class and used it as a platform to collect data of all sorts of things that the car would need to know in certain situations. It's not so much teaching the car through machine learning, but collecting data so they can program things for the future. The uh, intelligent world drive was, um, yes, there are a lot of regional differences, especially regarding infrastructure, traffic signs. Nothing really surprising, but if you haven't seen it uh, and, and taken your measurements, then it's hard to solve the problems later. Uh, there are differences with regard to driving behavior, also not surprising, but, but it's good to, to try it out with a real car, have the measurements, and just know how your car today deals with, um, with a lot of traffic passing on the right-hand side, which we wouldn't have in Europe, for example, but we have it a lot of times over here. What it's trying to do is learn what to do in unpredictable situations, as well as how to react when it encounters something in one country that it might not necessarily encounter in another. We are learning a lot about that uh, during our drive. Um, for example, really monitoring the environment, there are situations that, uh, where it works very well already. You can see, for example, the bot spots over here. Not, not so easy to really pick up. Uh, painted lane markings would be better, uh, but, but still the car is uh, seeing the lane marking, it's seeing the curb. Right now, of course, it's also seeing other objects, so it knows where to go and it's helping me doing the steering, acceleration and braking. But sometimes we see lane markings that are uh, not clearly perceivable by the camera and uh, so th those are things we are looking at to improve. Then you have to interpret what the lane marking may be. Like right here we've got a situation that is not really clear, uh, would be difficult for a car to know which lane it should stick to. This wasn't necessarily an autonomous driving demonstration, but more along the lines of how Mercedes collects that data so it can improve upon those systems that come along in the future.